Welcome back, True Seeker. Yesterday, put out a video on why the Georgia Guidestones really blew up on George Bush's 76th birthday on the date 7-6. And I want to expand with more evidence that this was definitely 100% a ritual planned and coordinated and synced up with Major League Baseball. Not only was it George W. Bush's birthday yesterday, it was also Daniel Coit Gilman's birthday, who's a member of Skull and Bones, who founded the Johns Hopkins University in Baltimore. And yesterday, the Baltimore Orioles defeated the Bush family Texas Rangers. And if you're new here, for nine years, I've been proving that the monument, the Georgia Guidestones, was the work of Skull and Bones. And I've also been proving how Major League Sports are completely scripted, and every single year we're showing how the Texas Rangers do these rituals in tribute to the Bush family. We've called a lot of World Series off knowing this knowledge over the years, and if you're new here, I'm sorry you've missed out, but congrats on arriving here because we are, this community, the number one thing going in the world of figuring out what is really going on on Earth. And... Again, you have to know the language of the cabal. So it matters that George W. Bush turned 76 on 76 in a nation established in 1776. And it matters that he was the 43rd president. Notice yesterday when we put out the video, they hadn't released the footage of the explosion. Well, what time did the explosion happen at? It happened at 4.03 a.m. A lot of you think it was 3.33. If you look carefully, the time was 4.03, colon, 33. It was 33 seconds into the third minute after the fourth hour. But at 4.03 on George W. Bush's birthday, who again was number 43, and before he was president of the United States, he was the owner of the Texas Rangers. Again, year after year, we're showing the rituals that they do in tribute to Skull and Bones with the Rangers. Well, look what happened yesterday. On the day of the Georgia Guidestones exploding, the Rangers lost, picking up their 43rd loss of the season, and they lost to the Baltimore Orioles, who got their 403rd win all-time versus the Rangers just before the monument blew up at 403. And again, we're talking about Skull and Bones. Daniel Coit Gilman of Skull and Bones, who's connected to Baltimore, George W. Bush, number 43, who's connected to the Texas Rangers. And again, if you're new here, this is nothing new what we're showing. I've been proving for the last decade how news and sports are scripted together and how you can understand the rituals crystal clear if you know gematria, which is as simple as ABC is 1, 2, 3. Now, further bringing this together, again, Bush was number 43, elected in Florida, where his brother was the 43rd governor at the time, and his daddy was the 43rd vice president. In Gematria, Yale, where Skull and Bones is, equals 43. Why is the 25th letter using the alphabetic order? A is the first, L is the 12th, E is the 5th. Yale, 43. Now, with regards to Daniel Coit Gilman, who founded the Johns Hopkins University in Baltimore, if he were alive, he would have turned 191 years old the day this monument blew up. 191 is the 43rd prime number. Again, it blows up at 4.03 a.m. And with regards to it being July 6th, 7-6, when you write out Skull and Bones, it has Gematria of 76. When you write out R.C. Christian, it has Gematria 76. R.C. Christian was the name on the monument to go with the March 22nd establishment date. And of course, Skull and Bones is at building number 322 at Yale, like 322 establishment date. R.C. Christian, Skull and Bones. And, and consider Skull and Bones is modeled after the Knights Templar, the Knights of the Catholic Church, which consider themselves a Christian organization. And, you know, part of their legacy involves the Rosicrucians, the Order of the Rose Cross. The Rose is a symbol of secrecy. R.C., Rose Cross, Christian. I'm pretty sure all of this is related. Elberton, where the monument was, was the area code 706. Again, in numerology, when a zero is in the middle of the number, you don't have to recognize it. So the area code was 706, essentially 76, blows up on 76 on Bush's 76th birthday. Also, Daniel Quake Gilman's. Just as a reminder, again, Florida has the Gematria 43 as well, where Bush's election becoming number 43 came down to. 
Now further, look at the address of the Guidestones. 1031 Guidestones Road Northwest, Alberton, Georgia. The number 1031 is the 173rd prime number. And if you write out Yale University, it equals 173. If you write out Knights Templar, it equals 173. Skull and Bones is modeled after how the Knights Templar buried their dead in an ossuary. Okay, so there's a direct link between all of these things. Again, New Haven, Connecticut, where Yale is, the Knights of Columbus are also head headquartered there. In Gematria, Connecticut equals Catholic. It's not hard to see who runs that university. It's the same entity that runs this nation and its news and its propaganda. Giant military empire. Again, the Knights Templar, military order of the Catholic Church older than this nation. Whatever happened yesterday involved military technology. If you've seen the Fox News clip, they show the silver car driving away from the scene at the time of the explosion. So there was somebody there that's been edited out of the footage. Anyhow, moving on. The, the name of that road, the name of the road, Guidestone Road Northwest. If you spell it out all the way, Guidestone and spell out road, not use the abbreviation and spell out Northwest and not use the abbreviation, Guidestone Road Northwest 322, just like how the etchings were unveiled on 3 1980 Again, Yale at building number 322. And remember, Genesis 322 is about the ancient mystery religions, mentions the tree of life. The tree of life is the model for Kabbalah, where the code of letters and numbers comes from. And if you, if you write out ancient mystery religions, it equals 322. If you write out Abrahamic religions, it equals 322. In the New International Version and the King James Version, if you take the wording of Genesis 322, even though the wording's different in both versions, through the knowing good and evil part, from the start to the knowing, through knowing good and evil, both verses equal 322. But notice Daniel Coit Gilman, who's also born on July 6th. His name is also 76. And... From his 1831 birthday, again to yesterday, he would have turned 191 years old, the 43rd prime, to go with number 43 and the, the structure exploding at 4.03 a.m. And keep in mind, we're in the time of Cancer. Cancer's the fourth astrological sign. Georgia's the fourth state. What was etched on the Georgia Guidestones, besides bringing the Earth's population to 500 million, was B... Not a cancer on the earth. The word cancer was used in the 10 new rules for a new world. Be not a cancer. The destruction in the time of cancer. Again, in astrology, cancer is the fourth sign. George is the fourth state in order of statehood. Okay, uh, for the record, the Johns Hopkins University, they refer to it with the at the front. When you write that out, the Johns Hopkins University 322, founded by Skull and Bones member Daniel Coit Gilman. And, you know, if you read about Daniel Coit Gilman, look at what it says. Here, I'll just read this whole thing. He was an American educator and academic. Gilman was instrumental in founding the Sheffield Scientific School at Yale College and subsequently served as the second, second president of the University of California at Berkeley as the first president of Johns Hopkins University and is founding president of the Carnegie Institution. Eponymous Halls at both Berkeley and Hopkins pay tribute to his service. He was also co-founder of the Russell Trust Association, which administers the business affairs of Yale Skull and Bones Society. Gilman served for 25 years as president of Johns Hopkins, his inauguration in 1876. Key digits, 7-6, has been said to mark the starting point of postgraduate education in the U.S. And um, again, you look into Skull and Bones, you'll be amazed at how much influence they've had in this world. How many hospitals are connected to them. Science, again, these are the organizations that are building the world around us. And remember, Skull and Bones allows 15 members per year. Kind of like how the Illuminati was founded on May 1st, 1776, right before the American Revolution, a date that can be written 1 slash 5 like 15. If you add 1 through 15 together, it equals 120. The word Illuminati is 120. Skull and Bones, part of the Illuminati network, where the Jesuits are the tip of the spear. 
And that's why when this blew up yesterday, it was on the Pope's 202nd day of his age, the first Jesuit Pope. Skull and Bones also equals 202, like Washington, D.C. is the 202 area code. So again, Johns Hopkins in Baltimore. That's why you had the Baltimore Orioles facing the Rangers on this day. And again, if you're having any questions like, well, how would they have the schedule so perfect? Again, because they make it so perfect because they've planned out the year in advance, just like when they get together for the Bilderberg Conference and plan the next year in advance. Again, you guys were living out planned rituals. So they were they knew that they were going to blow up this structure on this day. Again, they don't want this up there anymore. It's been up there for... With regards to it being up for 42 years and months, George W. Bush was number 43, but consider he was also the 42nd person to be president because Grover Cleveland had the split term. So the count's been off ever since Grover Cleveland's second term. And um, that might explain why George H.W. Bush was number 41, Skull and Bones equals 41, but he was really the 40th person to be president. We just saw that Yale University equals 173, just like Knights Templar equals 173, which is the 40th prime number. And, and keep in mind, CERN equals 40, and you had the green skies in the 40th state, South Dakota, just hours before this happened. All of these things are connected rituals. New world order. And... Um, I, I do want to find out for sure what languages were destroyed. I, th I think this is crucial information to know. What languages were on that pillar? Uh, again, there were 10 languages at the in total at the monument, writing out 10 new ru rules for a new world order. 10 languages, 10 new rules. And um, with regards to the 10 thing, this did explode on a date with 55 numerology, 55 is the 10th triangular number and the 10th Fibonacci number. When George W. Bush was 55 years old, that's when 9-11 happened. And they, they said that this monument weighed 119 tons. I'd like to know if that's true. But um, I'd like to know what languages got destroyed. Because that could be crucial for where the next part of this ritual is. The, the lands that speak those languages could be the next part of the ritual. And that information's got to be out there somewhere. So I, I'm definitely looking for that. What languages were destroyed? They called this America Stonehenge. I, again, if you're new here, Gematria is the alphabetic order forwards and backwards. Forwards and backwards with the rules of numerology. So America Stonehenge has the four values. 181 using the alphabetic order. That's the 42nd prime number. These were destroyed after 42 years and months of existence, which means they were also destroyed in their 43rd year of existence. Again, when you turn 42 years old, that begins your 43rd year of life. So in the 43rd year of their existence, destroyed at 403 on number 43's birthday. And Don Daniel Quint Gilman's 191st, the 43rd prime. When you take the alphabetic order and rules numerology, America's Stonehenge equals 82. That's interesting because they were erected, well, they, the, the etchings were unveiled March 22nd, 1980, which was the 82nd day of the year. And you might recall, because it was a leap year that year. Normally, March 22nd is the 81st day of the year, but in 1980, when they were unveiled, that was a leap year. And don't forget what we predicted for March 22nd, 2020, knowing that COVID equaled 82 and Pfizer equaled 82 and how that was a real important number with the pandemic. We said, watch, there'll be lockdowns in this nation on March 22nd. And New York City, the Empire State, led the way with the lockdown starting on March 22nd. And and don't forget, you know, you got you got the Batman series, Batman set in Gotham City, which is New York City, in the 33rd episode of the original Batman series. It comes out that Bruce Wayne, who, that's Batman, Bruce Wayne's grandfather founded Skull and Bones. If you don't know these things, look it up. The 33rd episode of Batman brings up Skull and Bones. That's why in the Skull and Bones movie franchise, they figure out funny ways to pay tribute to Skull and Bones, like the uh, infamous football exploding stadium scene where they show press box 322 right before the stadium explodes, 322 Skull and Bones. When you run the alphabetic order in reverse, America's Stonehenge equals 305. Skull and Bones equals 149 in Gematria as well, which is the 35th prime number. Catholic, Holy See, Jesuitism, Europe, they're all 35. Skull and Bones is modeled after the secret societies of Bavaria where the Illuminati was established. Um, again, Europe used to be ruled over by the Catholic Church. I shouldn't say used to. It still is, and so is the rest of the world. 
And again, you'll just see 305 to come together in a lot of rituals. The the overturning of Roe versus Wade, we just talked about that, the significance of that on Freemasonry, modern Freemasonry's 305th birthday, the election of JFK. Remember, JFK was number 35, born on the 149th day of the year, the 35th prime. And his election, he was against Reagan, or not Reagan, he was against Richard Nixon, and that election was 305 days after Richard Nixon's birthday. JFK becomes the first Catholic president, number 35. Catholic equals 35 forwards, 46 in reverse. JFK killed at age 46, like how Biden became the second Catholic president, number 46, elected 46 weeks after the Pope's birthday, inaugurated on the Pope's 35th day of his age, and so on and so forth. And then America Stonehenge being 98 in reverse. That's interesting because the word profit, like not not like profit money, but profit who sees the future. And there is a connection there. Again, the, the whole rigged financial game, you wonder why the billionaires stay on top. It's because they know the script, so they know what to invest in and what not to invest in. And there, there's a re- reason. But the word profit, like seeing the future, is 98. The word prophecy is 106. And from March 22nd to the explosion was 106 days later. We see 98 and 106 come together a lot in this study. Here's the latest example. And um, again, this is why you want to know the four base ciphers. Because again, it explains why it came down after 42 years and months. It explains why it was unveiled on the 82nd day of the year. And these things here also connect to what, what it is. I mean, those stones are telling us What's written in stone by the powers that shouldn't be, which is this new world order, Illuminati cabal. And again, if you're if you're new here, you know, get, get caught up on my work if you want to know what's really going on in the world. Be sure to pick up my new book when it comes out. I'm almost finished. It, it's I only go through one number through the whole book until the very last chapter. And um Again, you'll understand that the Illuminati is very real and things like Skull and Bones are 100% a part of it. So per the BBC, again, they mentioned the 19-foot high structure that weighed 119 tons. Kind of reminds you of the 19 hijackers on 11-9 back when George W. Bush was president. 322, don't forget Pentagon Maskell, the simulation by the U.S. military, 322 days before 9-11 of a plane flying into the Pentagon. And still to this day, 20 some years later, we don't have any footage that proves a plane flew into the Pentagon, but they did simulate it 322 days before the attack that a plane would fly in. Go figure. They also simulated the 9-11 attack with Operation Amalgam Virgo, June 1st, 2001, 102 days before the 102 minute attack when Art of War equals 102 like World War. Like Al-Qaeda, and Osama bin Laden was on the cover sheet of that document. But if you got here late, be sure to rewind. Again, George W. Bush, so connected to the Texas Rangers. His Rangers lose to the Orioles in Baltimore, where Daniel Coit Gilman established Johns Hopkins. Again, they're the two Skull and Bones members with the 7-6 birthday. And just look at how perfect the ritual is. The Rangers get their 43rd loss of the season, the team that used to be owned by number 43, as the Orioles pick up their 403rd all-time win versus the Rangers as the monument blows up at 403. And again, Bush number 43, Daniel Coit Gilman would have been his 191st birthday, the 43rd prime, Baltimore, Rangers, monument, big rituals, And the same thing we've been explaining for nine years straight, proving it day after day, helping a lot of people pad their pockets. And even though I'm not taking the time to decode sports right now because I'm doing other things like trying to finish books, a lot of people went on this yesterday because they knew definitively that the Rangers would pick up their 43rd loss on Bush's birthday. I've talked about this same stuff so many times. And here's a veteran. What's up, Big Al? Hey, man, I uh, follow up on that baseball stuff you were talking about. So look what they did. There was three teams yesterday who could have dropped to 20 and 23. And they, all three of them did it, like the one you just mentioned. Look at the fucking score the Dodgers gained yesterday against the Pirates. When I think Pirate also think of Skull and Bones, right? Uh, absolutely. Absolutely. And then the, the other team, the other team to drop, to 20 and 23 there was three teams that did it and they all did it yesterday on the big day seven six well the other one was uh, here let, let's just pause for people who the aren't Indians. number literate for people who don't get it 20 and 23 look at the d- digits in that two zero two three so two two three the reflection of three two two if you write out skull and crossbones which is yale's logo or skull and bones logo skull and crossbones equals two two three so so go ahead al with the two two three part 
ridiculous. So all, all three of these teams, or there was plenty of games yesterday. There was only three teams in the MLB that this could have happened in, and every one of them it happened in. And it, it just goes to show and prove every day this is exactly what these sick fucks are doing. I, I went back and looked at that, that game. I'm like, let me go back and look at the all-time record. And when I saw that 403, it was a done deal. Look at the score in the fucking baseball, the Dodgers. The Pirates dropped to 20 and 23, and the Dodgers went 16 to nothing. What kind of baseball score is that? As we know in the pure cipher, right? You know what's funny? ESPN's yeah. doing that thing where they don't update their stats. We've seen ESPN do this before to hide the truth. So it's showing that they felt or stayed at 20 and 22 yesterday, the Pirates. Or hold on, I'm on the wrong day. I clicked on the wrong day. That's why I'm not seeing it. Okay, my bad. So Guardians, oh, so that's funny. Cleveland fell to 20 yeah, and 23. Yeah. Remember how the Cleveland Indians, Bush, right? the, the, best skull and Bo- the best skull and bones ritual we've ever seen today was the one that helped us call Nationals over Astros in Game 7 before they even made the playoffs, and it was involving the Cleveland Indians, and it was with the riddle with Prescott Bush st- stealing Geronimo's skull, and it was 223 oh. days later. So Cleveland, who's now the Guardians, but they obviously are still doing the Indians thing, they fall to 20 and 23. Okay. Go, go ahead, Al. And it's, it's Dodgers 16 and nothing, Yale 16 and a pure cipher. Yep. You know? Yep. It's like, what kind of baseball score is that? It just proves beyond any doubt definitively this is exactly what they're doing and you got to be completely fucking retarded to not see any of this completely yeah. turned off from reality yeah there's no way all that shit could line up that way that's why i won money yesterday I, I knew it was his fucking birthday i knew skull and bones equals 76 and i'm like oh there's three teams that could drop to 20 and 23 look at that yeah you know, yeah. and then there's other stuff too. You look into the game, and you see how the pitchers usually line up with some type of skull and bone or Yale number. This is clear what they're doing. You, you got, you got to love, you got to love that the Yankees scored 16 runs on them too. It's just it's, 16. Yeah, I said Dodgers, but it was the Yankees. Yeah, 16 to nothing. What and again, New York Yankees equals 191, the 43rd prime, and and Yale equals 43 and 16. And again, it's it's all a perfect script. So. I caught the end of that Orioles game, and this this is another example of how the technology, they're absolutely fucking using it, without question. If you watch that game, it was two to one the whole fucking game, right? Then it gets to the top of the ninth, they got one more shot to, uh, who was it they were playing? They were playing, uh, who was it the Orioles beat? They beat oh, the Rangers. The Rangers. Yeah, the Rangers, right? So the Rangers are down to their last strike in the top of the night and this dude like rips one he pulls his shit out of it and it just comes look like inches from the foul pool you know what i mean and uh-huh. that's how they fuck with people that's technology there's no way that riddle wasn't going through sure yeah no way it would not go through they were doing it yeah you yeah know? so it's just like there it is it's all right there they're telling you they got technology they're showing you how they rig it every day you've proven it there's nothing else to prove with this I mean, there hasn't been anything to prove. There, there literally hasn't been anything for me to prove for, for I would say, eight years now. I'd say eight years ago I proved this definitively, and it's so that, sad that, that few people know that, about that, it. Even before, even after you documented this shit for a fucking year before you started putting it on social media, you knew beyond any doubt, you only knew the two ciphers. That's what they were fucking doing. You're right. Yep. Now it's just like it couldn't be any more clear. They just confirm every day that this is how it's all done. Yep. I, I just, yeah, this is why we're in the position we're in because people are just, they're not willing to accept this fact. They're weak as fuck. Most people are just honestly weak and they just want to give a piss ass poor chief. Oh, there's nothing we can do about it. Yeah, there is something we can do about it. It's just like, you know, what they do every day, you know, that's why they do what they do every day. Indeed. And and what's annoying is if, if you search right now on YouTube, like uh, Georgia Guidestones blew up there, there's like, uh, there's probably more than a hundred videos. I was just scrolling through some of the videos to see people's work last night. Uh, so many of them are Jesus people who think this is God who destroyed the, the uh, and, and it's a sign of positive things to come. This, this, for all the people out there, this is why religion makes me sick. Just listening to ignorant people just like confirm their own self-fulfilling beliefs. There's nothing positive about this explosion. This is them getting rid of their evidence, their plan that's really about to get a lot closer into motion. And um, it makes me think what we've been saying about 2024 is all the more correct because now this isn't going to be there. And in the United States of amnesia, no one's going to remember what was written on these things two years from now. So you know, Most people don't even know what they are, man. I mean, so it's like, yeah need to even look people don't even know what these things are they're not even aware of them mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
I mean, most but, people I've talked to, they have no idea. They're like, what's that? Yeah. Yeah, it, it, it's just, yeah, it's like, you know, that Tim Pool guy, I don't even know why people listen to Tim Pool, a guy that's clueless about everything, he did a big stream on this, got millions of views yesterday, and there's not a single thing in there that said that's true or, or worth listening to, I, it just drives me nuts that so many people get so much traffic, and they don't know what the fuck they're talking about, and we're here proving our points and helping yeah. people pad their pockets every day. It's the same bullshit, society out here the same way, you know? I remember the first time I introduced this, like six, seven years ago, these guys, this one fucking asshole that used to work next to me, he was like, uh, oh, my brother said that's just fucking bullshit. I said, well, your brother's shit. You're both shit. All of you guys are, you know? And now it's just clear. I just wonder how these stupid fucks are probably just think it's all even as retarded as they thought it always was, you know? But Indeed. Indy. It's, it's no doubt. I mean, it, it was way before this fucking pandemic they pulled on us. Indeed. Yeah. Indeed. I don't know what to say for these people, man. They need to go. That's all I can say. They're weighing us all down. You know, they really are. They are. They're and it's, it's just annoying. Bottom, man. It's just annoying. It's like you turn on, like, that's why people think I'm arrogant, but I'm not wrong, you guys. I'm not wrong. If there were zero videos on YouTube about the Georgia Guidestones, except for my video, if it was the only one up there, then we'd get somewhere. But instead, we got a thousand videos about how Jesus struck these down and this is a sign of pot. It's just like, dude, this is bullshit, man. This doesn't have anything to do. Well, it has a lot to do with the society of Jesus, but it doesn't have anything to do with your, your mystical religion. This has to do with how these people are manipulated manipulating the world as they do it day yeah, by man, day that's what these fucking platforms do i see them everywhere they've got these jewish you know rabbis some of them aren't even rabbis they're just jews but they have their small hats and shit on and they're doing videos i see a lot of this shit on youtube and it's all this prophecy shit and their way and like some of it yeah they're telling you the truth on it but all the other stuff it's like complete garbage like you said it's it like is just to get people to not fucking wake up and stay asleep you know it is yeah. Oh, yeah, he's coming now. He's going to come get us, and everything's going to be great and dandy. Right. You know, we're going to bring in this whole new financial system, and it's going to be better for us. I mean, what, what are the fuck are these people at? Where are they at, man? Better for us? Right. Right. Indeed. So. Well, hey, man, I just wanted to holler in on the, uh, the Skull and Bone stuff that they were doing. You know, I'm calling the game, so. All right, well, congrats on the W, what yeah. A, Skull yeah, and Bones days. What a joke, man. Indeed. What a joke. These are the best days, man. I think you just stand by and play these, these days. You win every time. Indeed. Yeah. <laughs> Certain days roll around and the riddles are just a lock. So pre appreciate it, Al. All right. Thank you, Zach. Yeah, take care. Yeah, but I, I know a lot of people don't like me and they say I'm arrogant. But again, you guys, I'm not wrong. You can call me arrogant. If, if you deleted all the other truth content for, for the last eight years from the web, I mean, there's some good stuff you'd get rid of. But if everybody was just following what I'm talking about, we'd be solving the problems. We've been ahead of the curve for the whole time. We knew what was coming in 2020. We knew why Joe Biden would be installed. We knew in 2015 why Trump would be installed. We understand what they're doing before they do it. The rest of this truth community is caught up in so much bullshit and they never talk about this, the language that they use every day to script every last news story, every last rig sports game. Uh, imagine if everybody knew this. They'd stop going to these sports games. They'd stop supporting the rigged elections. They'd stop going along with the bullshit. They'd stop wearing their slave muzzle. They'd stop being Pfizer's guinea pig. But because you have all this bullshit out there, nobody knows what to think. Oh, well, I, I heard it was actually like God that took down these guide stones. What's up, Itachi? Uh, uh, not much. Can you hear me okay? I hear you just fine. Perfect. Um, yeah, I just had something interesting on that Rangers game yesterday. Okay. Would you mind looking at their record on Wednesdays, including playoffs, all time on the road? Just say what it is since you already have the stat. 3-2-2. Three, two, two. They got their 322nd win on Wednesday. All t or, or they stayed on 322, the Rangers? Yeah, they did. <laughs> and they got their 119th loss in July, um, I believe, on Ottawa. Yeah, just another three two two there, and then the one one nine for you know George Bush. But yeah, it was one block, so I had to call in about that. Yeah, and and it's fitting that you'd find it because you're down there in Connecticut. So perfect. Well, I actually moved down to Florida. Well, uh, you you still got well even better for Florida and Connecticut. There they couldn't get any more Bush. So yeah, so I'm following in their footsteps, Tom Brady and Bush. So thanks for taking. Yeah, all right, appreciate it. All right, take care, yeah. Tachi.
Here, let, let me get that stat up here. So Stat Muse is the place to look up this stuff. Rangers all-time record. Wait, hold on. I got to say, including playoffs on Wednesdays. Oh, it wants to know. Uh, let's do Texas Rangers. Of course, there's a Rangers in hockey as well. Wait, so that, maybe he meant for... Um, I bet it's road record. Let's see. Texas Rangers all-time road record. Let's see. Yeah, so they're on the road. So the Rangers, they were on the road yesterday. So the Rangers stayed on 322. T- see, isn't it mind-blowing how they do this? But um, remember, b- baseball, you know, for the average baseball fan, you know, when you get to the stadium, you might keep all your own stats every last pitch or jotting it all down. Realize all of the People get their minds blown, but this really is just basic addition. If you got things scripted out long in advance, you can make sure that the Rangers are on 322 time wins all time on a Wednesday on the day you plan to blow up the big Guidestones monument that, that was put there on 322 on the road that equals 322 in Gematria. So good one, Itachi. Tachi likes to go deep with the Stat Muse web search. Again, Stat Muse is, is the ultimate tool. They haven't added college sports yet, and I don't think they've added women's sports yet, but they got most of the professional major league men's stats. And um, a- again, just one one more layer to the script. And again, for people who are new here, we've been showing this stuff for a decade now, you guys. It's, it's almost been a decade that we've been showing how news and sports are perfectly scripted, how many rituals are done in tribute to Skull and Bones. They're, they're so instrumental in these sports leagues. We just talked about the huge 3-2-2 ritual in the NBA Finals and how we were super confident, you know, that... that Steph Curry and the Warriors would win that thing. Steph Curry's on 322 career losses right now, and those finals began exactly 322 weeks after Boston broke the Warriors' record home winning streak. You know, these numbers get used again and again and again. And, um, yeah, you know, for, for all the people out there that uploaded a video saying that Jesus took these down and this is a sign from God or, or this is something positive for the world, I'd, I'd, I'd beg you to delete your video and stop clogging up the internet with your bullshit that's based in nothing and try using your brain to do some real research and find some real facts and some real evidence and some real truth because there's none of that in religion. Religion's all about believe the word with lie right in the middle. And you see what believers are doing. They're always spreading their lies Most people's beliefs are nothing but lies. They're spreading their lies and bullshit all over the world and polluting the information stream. My work doesn't pollute the information stream. My work brings definitive clarity. It's not based in superstition and nonsense. It's based in facts and research and a decade's worth of documentation. Okay? So, uh, again, religious people are the plague of the earth. If you listen to last night's TFR episode, you heard one of these religious people call in and, and waste a lot of time, and then he got right to the end, and he said, well, nothing can be done because like it says in my Bible, you know, the world's going to be destroyed and us believers will be saved. So I don't think there's anything to do. And it's like, yeah, that's exactly what the skull and bones types of the world want. People who believe that nothing can be done against evil and they need to just hang on to their book and wait for Jesus to come lift them up into the clouds. And you wonder why we are where we are. So, Anyway, we'll leave it there. Great additions from Big Al and Itachi. And um, hold on, I, I see some people made a couple donations. Let me say thank you to the Super Chatters real quick. If anybody else wants to get into Super Chat right now, I will be sure to read it. And um, one second. Somebody said, let's see. Dylan... Chipped in two dollars with a big thumbs up. I appreciate it. Pro Stalker Triple Eight chipped in five dollars, but no messages. So I guess there's not anything to read. And um, here, let me look at the chat real quick. Michelle says she loves how honest I am. Yeah, not everyone does. A lot of people get really hurt and offended because they're so caught up in their childhood beliefs. Again, you got it. You got a society of infants, and you really do. Believing in childish stories that make no sense, which is your religion. Waiting for somebody else to come save you like you're a little baby, whether that's Jesus or Donald Trump or whatever bullshit you believe in. Again, you got a society of infants, low intelligence, low skills, no common sense. It's like, you know, 
Every, everyone's trapped in kindergarten. So there is no way to call in right now unless you have my number. So and I, I gotta I gotta do some other stuff today, but I did want to get out this additional information. And um, for example, the two guys who called in who do have my number, you see, they brought more to the table that cements exactly what we're saying here today. John Oliver covered the Georgia Guidestones on the 149th day of the year, huh? Interesting. I'll have to look into that. He, he might be in the club there, old Skull and Bones, 149. Yeah, yeah. It, our, our community is way ahead of the rest of humanity, and we need the rest of people to catch up. I'm so sick of just turning into these supposed truth channels who ignore this research who just put out the same old bullshit every day. It, it makes me sick, the Tim Pools of the world. Why is anyone listening to Tim Pool? What does that guy know about anything? I mean, there's nothing interesting about that guy. He's wrong about everything. What are people listening to? I'm sure it's because the algorithms, and he's, he's one of the chosen ones, so he gets promoted, but it's just like, what are people tuning into? This guy is wrong about everything. Can you imagine if I debated Tim Pool? Tim Pool would be, he'd be, he'd turn into a, a pool of flesh. You know what I mean? Nothing, nothing. Can you imagine his bullshit ass information talking about what, what happened here compared to what we have to show? It's just, and, and why isn't Tim Pool talking about this? Of course, if he, of course, if he did talk about it, he wouldn't be promoted in the algorithm. So... I'm talking about all these people, not just Tim Pool. I'm talking about the whole truth community. The whole thing is a fraud. Every last person that gets promoted in the algorithm, every last person whose name goes viral, none of them know what they're talking about. They're all full of shit. You know, who, who was the guy that everybody was watching the other year? Uh, he came from Hollywood. Owen Benjamin, another guy who doesn't know what the hell he's talking about. All these people that people just tune into who have no idea what they're talking about. And Owen Benjamin even did a video saying that Gematria was bullshit. I mean, a, a guy who never brought a single thing to the truth community that was worth anything, but got millions upon millions of views. Shout out to uh, Kevin Washington. Kevin Washington, man, you are you and Sarah Sutherland are always blowing up my cash app. Kevin Washington, you donated a lot of money, my guy. You do not need to donate anymore. I do appreciate it. I wish more people would chip in a dollar a month. I am getting frustrated over here too, you guys. My, my uh, Patreon support is going down, 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 down every single month, and I don't understand why because the work is getting better, 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 and it's never needed to get out more. It might be because people can't afford to chip in a dollar a month because of how high gas is, but if you guys can pledge a dollar a month on the Patreon, I need to get that thing back up, man. It's never been lower. Carl Streener says, I heard your stream last night and mind-blowing, not surprised, great work. I appreciate that, Carl Streener. You're also very generous. A lot of super chats from your neck of the woods. And um, yeah, again, that you realize that just like you see who, who makes the donations. Again, it's that stat about humanity. Very few people are willing to, there's very few generous people in the world. I'm seeing the same names day after day making the super chats. So I don't know where the thousands of other people are that could chip in a dollar here and there, but um Yeah. Anyway, this work does need major funding to get the outreach that it does and deserves. And it's only going to happen if this community can find a dollar a month or more if you can afford it to support it because we do need big funds to get the word out in a big way. We have the knowledge to stop the agenda. Nobody else in the truth community has the knowledge to stop the agenda because they don't have any knowledge. Do you guys not realize that that's true? Nobody else is putting knowledge out in the world. They're getting on and they're saying, oh, look at this news story and here's my opinion about this and here's why I think Jesus is going to come save us or or this is why we need to reelect this person to stop this from happening it's just you're listening to a bunch of bullshitters who have no idea about anything which is not true over here over here we're showing how both parties are controlled by the same agenda how they're part of the same cabal how they're part of the same spell casting system you know so shout out to Elijah he just chipped in a dollar he heard the call on a dollar so anyway We'll leave it there for now. I do need to finish the book. I can't, I, again, I keep saying that I'm close. I can't wait to get on here and say the book's finished. When the book is finished, I will make it as affordable as possible. And um, I, I do plan to ship off big boxes of books at, at pretty much 
the the purchase shipping rate so that you guys can pound payment and help give them out in your community. Hopefully, we can get the cost down low enough to where it is affordable to give out books. And um, again, because people do support and donate, it makes things like that more possible. So thank you again to everyone who does support, to all the people who've disappeared. And I don't understand why so many people have disappeared in the time we've been doing the biggest things. Going out to Oklahoma City, going out to Dallas, going out to Buffalo, doing all these things. And somehow, some way, the, fault, the, the support's fallen by over 30%. I don't understand it. Unless it's just that things have gotten too expensive, I guess that that would be the one explanation. So, uh, Angel Baby also said, um, if you want to support RPM Trey, which is a great idea, RPM Trey and his cousin who came out to Oklahoma City, they're going to drive from Iowa to Dallas to pound payment in Dallas and do the open carry thing, and um, you know that that would be another great place to support RPM Trey. You guys know as you. YouTube channel, RPM Trey Vietnam. I've shared a couple of his videos on my channel. So make sure you're following RPM Trey Vietnam. I, I think he's a, a great voice in this community right now. And um, thank you again, Divine Lion. Divine Lion is one of those people that donates almost every time I'm on here. And Divine Lion, you don't need to ever need to make another donation either. I do appreciate the support though. And um, one more announcement. At some point today, Sam Tripoli's website, again, I did the interview with Sam Tripoli yesterday. At some point today, you'll see an update here, and our podcast will be on here. And if you search his name, Sam Tripoli, um, maybe you'd rather listen to it in audio form. Sam Tripoli Tinfoil Hat Podcast, if you if you web search that, it's on Apple, it's on this platform, Play Acast, it's on uh, Pandora, it's on Deezer, it's on SoundCloud, it's on Audible. Sam Tripoli's putting up all of his content everywhere podcasting is. He'll put up our show on all these platforms. He said he would do it at some point today. Um, so if you want to see the see or listen to the interview I did with Sam Tripoli yesterday, it's there. We talked a little bit about the Georgia Guidestones and a lot about 201 and the Illuminati. And, and don't forget, the Guidestones did blow up yesterday, 201 days after the Pope's birthday. Mr. 201 himself, the first to live in Suite 201 at the Vatican. You could also say it was Pope Francis' 202nd day of his age. And, you know, Sam Tripoli, he gave me two dates to do his show. He gave me July 6th or July 28th. I chose July 6th because I knew there'd be something big on July 6th, the 187th day of the year, 201 days after the Pope's birthday. And don't forget, Skull and Bones does call itself the Brotherhood of Death. Brotherhood of Death equals 187, just like how these blew up on the 187th day of the year. One more Skull and Bones tribute. Um, <laughs> at RPM Trey's in the chat, you guys. If you're, if you're not familiar with RPM Trey, definitely check out his channel. And uh, for all the, all the generous people in my community, the next time you feel like making a donation to me, instead of doing that, I would recommend doing it to RPM Trey because he definitely deserves some support and he has some gas bills ahead of him going down to Dallas to pound payment with that community. So RPM Trey Vietnam will close out with that. And for all the people in the truth community that sit here and sell t-shirts and merchandise and never talk about the truth, consider retiring because if the Christians are right about anything and the bad people are going to the fiery place of hell, I think it's everyone in the truth community that sits here and puts out static and misinformation just to sell stuff and exploit people. I, I, that, that's where I do hope the Christians are right, that there is a special place where you can burn in hell forever. Because it is really sick what you do. You come here and you mislead people who are looking for the truth and you make money off it. It's sick. And, and nobody could ever say that about what we've done for this community. We've generated so much funds and revenue for the people who follow who've taken advantage of all the rig system. And it's freedom from the matrix. And every single day it adds up more and more and more and more. And again, you guys, for all of you who are so into your religion, go listen to all the Christians who've uploaded videos saying that this is God striking down the devil. This is a win for us religious types. Go listen to that shit and then see if you think these people are really, really spiritually you know, in touch. Because I guarantee you they're not. 
And so many people, they think if somebody just talks real nice and peaceful, that means they're spiritually in touch. No, people shouldn't be talking so nice and peaceful about what's going on. There's a war being waged on humanity. Most people are just riding along with the war to humanity's destruction. Everyone who sees it should be outraged and speaking in the manner I speak in. You know, I, I speak the way I do to communicate that there's a, an urgency that's needed, that there's a sickness that needs to be stopped. Again, it's that quote about it's no sign of health to be adjusted to a profoundly sick society. And, and so many of you guys who, who are believing in it, truly, like all, all of you guys who are religious, what, what you really are under is the thumb of evil. You believe in the evil religions created by the evil tyrants to keep you in check, in place while their tyranny goes on. That's who you guys are. You're in la-la land following the commands of the devil, thinking you're doing something spiritually right, but really you're just part of evil's plan. You guys need to understand that about yourselves. I know it's a tough pill to swallow, but it's the pill you need to swallow. Otherwise, you're going to continue to be part of evil's plan, like the guy who called into my show last night thinking he was holier than thou because he's a Christian who believes he can do nothing but wait for Jesus to come save him. That's not a man. That's a child stuck in his infant thoughts and beliefs that's part of the problem. And I can say that about every last religious turd on this platform, you know. So, anyway. These are facts. If you can't deal with the facts, it's because you're a little baby. Sorry that's the case. But this is what facts look like, you know. Definitive evidence, day after day, backing it up, never having to change what I'm saying, proving it. Uh, understand, everything that happened yesterday, I've talked about it a million times. And then, boom. The guide stones blow up by the exact same numbers in a 100% perfect ritual, synced up with the world of sports. And I'm being super redundant, so it sinks in. All right. Thank you. Uh, shout out to uh, Louvda Vegger. I- I've seen you in the super chats as well. Thank you for the $5. I do appreciate it. Shout out to Jesuit Order World News, who I always see in the super chats. Thank you for the thank you for the additional taco money, and um, yeah, we we do need to preach about what's wrong, religion, politics. Look at how many people are into it, and look at how they're all part of the problem. Every last person waiting for religion and politics to come save them, and um, again, all these people are dragging us to hell. So, hold on. Does this say Kayla Decode Talker? Kayla. Kayla. I don't know. Kayla, if you... Okay. Kayla, I want you to text message me and tell me why you just sent me that money because I'm about to send it back. So. Shout out to Kayla, though. I think Kayla's got her Patreon going and she's got some money coming in right now. Kayla, you don't owe that to me. Kayla Decode Talker does not owe that to me. But Kayla, I want a text message for why you sent that money to me because I don't want that money from you, honestly. So, um, But I, I do appreciate the super chats. And the reason I don't want money from certain people is because they already do enough for the community and, and they don't need to donate anything. And Plus, I just gave Kayla a nice gift. She just gave my gift back to me. Oh, no. Kayla gave me my gift back to me. I, anyway, I felt like she deserved the gift. So anyway, it, clarify that with me, Kayla, because I don't think that was right. But... um. Maybe she did it because it's my birthday coming up. I don't need it for my birthday. But anyway, I do appreciate it. We'll leave it there for now. Pretty soon I will be on here saying the book's finished. And um, again, Sam Tripoli, if you want to hear yesterday's podcast. Uh, Well, you know what's funny, you guys? I did try to record the podcast yesterday. And somehow the, the files all screwed up. So it was like it wasn't meant for me to even record it. I wasn't planning on leaking it early as some of you asked me to. But you can go listen to it on Sam's thing and download it from there. Um, and I promise for all you veterans, there. well, there was some good conversations in there. De- definitely listen to the podcast because there, there was some good conversation. But a lot of the information I dropped for you veterans, it won't be anything new. So, And thank you, Chevs710. Chev710, I do appreciate that. Please do share and like this video, and please try to wake up all the people around you who are stuck on religion and politics. Try to get them to see the light, because they really are dragging us all to hell while thinking they're holier than thou, and it's a major problem. 
Again, it's not an accident that all your contrived politicians who are all part of these secret societies are always putting their hand on that Bible like it means something other than it was a, a mass-printed book to control your ass and make you be a good slave, just like it says. It says right in the Christian teachings, be a good slave, turn the other cheek, give Caesar what's his, you know, wait for the destruction, just believe. The word with lie right in the middle, I mean... If if you guys can't see the game and how obvious it is, because it really is obvious, you're totally asleep. (laughs) Don't forget the rapper Awake on the 4th of July, right? Awake equals 41, arrested on US 41, exactly 41 weeks after his birthday. Skull and Bones 41, number 41, George H.W. Bush, member of Skull and Bones. Dead on 1130, 11 plus 30, 41. Again, these people got numbers. But yeah, they're, they're the ones that got people sound asleep too. They got them all under the spell. All right, I'm done. Thank you to all the supporters and generous people. And um, again, go out and support the other people in the community too. You know, find a dollar a month for all the people doing the work. You got $5 to pledge a month. You got $5 to budget to help out five people doing the good work. Your dollar adds up. Uh, Again, so many people don't do things like that because they say, oh, well, if I don't give a dollar, that's not a big deal. It's only $1. How many people watch these videos? I guarantee you for all the years that I've been saying this, if everybody was pledging a dollar, we could have a huge pool of funds to make something huge happen in the world. I guarantee you there's been a million people who heard that who are like, yeah, that's a good idea, but if I don't donate a dollar, it won't make a big difference because it's only one dollar, but that's the way everybody's thinking, and that's why nothing happens. So, But yeah, seriously, think about $5 a month, donating one dollar to five different people doing the work, imagine it had a million people in the world had the same idea you'd be supporting a, a, a five people with huge funding able to do big things who are after you know making things happen in this world that need to happen like solving evil so again imagine it you guys imagine a million people pledging a dollar a month that's almost nothing out of anybody's pocket but it's a million dollars in resources to do something every month huge to combat this evil Imagine if we had a million dollars and we could pay for a huge gathering and giveaway at the Georgia Guidestones right now, at the Texas Rangers, Baltimore Orioles Stadium. Just educate people right on the spot about what really went down. Blow their minds. Daniel Coit Gilman Bush. You can do this in person. I, again, go out and watch me talk to people in person and see how you can wake people up to this knowledge when you explain it clearly. People do get it in the flesh when you explain it to them right. Just stay out of areas like Seattle where everyone's a brain-dead liberal. Those are going to be your least effective communities to talk to people because the liberals at this day and age are the most programmed and brainwashed and closed-minded. wasn't always that way, but that is how it is now. But again, there's a lot of communities where people are receptive to this knowledge. So anyway, we'll leave it there. And until next time.